Hey, we're welcome. Oh, wait, do you do you smell that? It smelled. Welcome back to XCOM. We have to do one of these capture mission things and whatever. We're bringing our best and brightest, or bravest, whatever. It's one of those get the fuck in and get the fuck out missions. So, yeah. We have visual on the. We've picked up an exalt cell operating inside Japan. Strike one will need to move in and assist our operative in securing the new data. I really hate these missions. I I just I can't understand the strategy of them. I've already lost this twice. One of our covert operatives was nearly successful in hacking a series of exalt com relays when enemy forces moved into the area. If we're going to have any chance of recovering that data, we'll need Strike One to provide protection while the operative finishes hacking the remaining arrays. If we lose the operative, we won't be able to recover the intel. You know what? I have a new strategy I'm going to try. Received. All right. Basically, I have to get onto the roof first there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this person all the way into this full cover here. Where nobody can see her. And then with her second move, go onto the roof. There we go. Like, I just don't, I don't understand how you're supposed to do this without, like, safes coming. Like, I, I don't understand, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, it just, it seems real kind of arbitrary, because I start on the other side of the map from my actual person here. I sprinted over here so I can now get these guys. Now, I absolutely have to bring people into cover. There's no question about that. So my sniper can't stay here. Alright. So can we get some... Shots up. Wow, that's the only shot. Alright, overwatch then. Oh, and he's got a grenade. How nice. I I don't know what you're supposed to do here. I really don't. So, wait, he's gonna chuck a grenade at this person. And now he has no cover, so she's probably dead. And she's panicking. Oh, at least he critted. At least there's a support beam there, I'll say that much. Incoming fire. Adrenaline surge. Another grenade for that person. Hostile spotted. And there's another group there. So it's like, I'm already getting swarmed at the beginning of this mission here. I it's like why? We got four people, it's not enough to like take these people these guys on. And they have a they have a grenade over there for smoke grenades. And I can't even get a shot off because of that. Well, let's just go right in front of them then. And oh he's got overwatch back there. Well, this guy is meant to take damage though. Say. Let's go just let's try the new flamethrower ability. Look at this. Oh my god, that looks amazing. <laughs> and I just set all their asses on fire. Alright, that's kinda cool. Now I'm not now I'm not as sour about what's going on here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run the fuck up here. And then we're gonna run a gun to the second one. All right, so this strategy worked out much better, but I'm still like kind of meh on the whole exalt missions here because this is like, as I said, doesn't make any sense to me. We have an operative in position to begin the hack, Commander. We just have to activate the relay to acquire the data. Can I kill that one in the back there? Really, I just I. <laughs> then you get like these these misses like that. It's just why. Okay, thank you. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Alright, well, you're not much used to me here, so... And now they're panicking. Exalt is panicking. 
Well, maybe I should just get like an entire like fucking fleet of those guys with flamethrowers. I think that's how I'll win. And they're shooting my gunner. My gunner's gonna run the fuck back to... Well, actually, she'll be okay now. Uh, assuming she doesn't die. Which is a very big if. Because my gunner happens to have very low HP right now. Because she's gotten grenaded twice. And they're all kind of focusing her down. And, you know, if she goes down, I can't save her. Incoming fire. We've got new contacts inbound on strike one's position, Commander. I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna lie, I think we just got lucky there. And, but unfortunately two two overwatches triggered, so maybe not lucky. Right on the roof, right beside my person, so. Our operative decrypted some of the <laughs> oh, exalted God. and temporarily disrupted their communications. That ought to slow them down. Now we just need to find and hack the remaining relays. She has to run for it. There's no question about it. She has to run for this one. Or they didn't even see her. Okay. Right, I can't I can't trigger it in the same turn. Not like it really matters, because they they already have to reload. I've I forgotten about I I've forgot about that completely. All right, my gunner can move to the no, she can't move to the end of, in the same turn. Uh, so we have to make sure she's ready to get back there. Can he make it back in one turn? Yes, he can. We actually set them on fire again just because it was so much fun. Haha, <laughs> they're dead. Fuck them. Fuck Exalt and your dirty ass. Alright. I'm just gonna shoot that one. So now they have to reload this turn. This can only go bad if, uh... If they decide to throw grenades. They're gonna decide to study, study aim instead. And, uh, you know, at this point with Long War, I think I'm relatively okay with, like, you know, the not loading part, except for some of the stuff with the, the supply ships, which basically, I think you're, with the supply ships, you're intended to have a couple more resources at your disposal. Um, so there's that. And, I th and then there's the... Um, then there's these missions, which I seriously don't get. Like this, like, look at this. Overwatch right beside my fucking person. <laughs> But luckily, I, I, I now know why they didn't fire upon her. It's because uh, she pressed this thing. That's the last of the relays, Commander. And that's okay. We've got Exalt's data. Now we just need to get the operative to the evac zone. Well, we have a new unfortunately... She's just gonna have to run. I'm gonna just go right here and then reload. And reload, overwatch. I think we're gonna just fire twice with her. One second, like I'm, I'm planning on basically just getting experience here now. I mean, might as well get something out of it. Oh yeah, that's right, that's my overwatch gunner. Yeah, wasn't much use though, I'm gonna tell you that much. Fifty nine, forty nine. This guy really needs aim bonuses, I think. So happy we got to see how much damage we did. Continue the mission. <laughs> Just, I love that yelling in some other language. Oh, that captain! You did a reaction shot against someone healing. That's fucking cold. Go 
got another group of hostiles moving in, Commander. Alright, well, this is where we leave, fellas. We've overstayed our welcome. Uh, you know, technically none of these people actually need more experience. But I guess it gives me experience for all the soldiers that are... You know... Not here, uh... For, well, I still can use another level, you know? Uh, I guess I might as well headshot the one in the back there. Because I think, I think we get mission experience based upon this, maybe not. I don't know. Alright, so... You, my gentle madam. We'll go here. Our field operative has reached the extraction oh. point with the data, Commander. Strike one can either stay and clear out any other exalt forces in the area, or head to the evac point for immediate extraction. Immediate extraction, he says. Updated. I think that person already has their max level, actually. Uh, and you're, you're just fine the way you are. The general could use a, 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 a kill, though. And you suck. Yep, we're gone. I don't want to hear him say shit again. Negative damage on blah. I think we get mailed out of these missions, so it's worthwhile as it is. But the thing that isn't worthwhile is the fact that my gunner got pretty mortally wounded there. Yeah, 20 days out. It's not good. But regardless, we did get, um... Will to survive or extra conditioning. We're gonna take extra conditioning, because we expect to take big hits, not little hits. And we got another promotion here. Close combat specialist for you. Good, it's a good way of uh, leveling uh, the, the, my uh, assaults, you know. Well, we're doing... we're doing interrogate sectoid. And next up, we have we want to do this real real soon because this is what's preventing us from continuing the campaign right now. Uh, but we need more meld before we can make that happen. Uh, so there's that, and they want engineers for a satellite. No, they can go to hell with that request. We have a lot of money. The other thing I lack is uh well, let's have a look actually. How close am I to? Uh, uh, not thermal generators, but the Illyrium generator. Alloys. Tons of alloys are needed. Just hope we get a nice UFO again. Well, we got that one. The only other thing we can do is this one. We got no, no other things to possibly do. Alright, we got 15 sector corpses for one scientist. No. That can do better than that. And is that it for soldiers? Oh, and we got, yes, we got we got another one of those uh, mech suits, so there we go. Let's see who our new soldiers are, just so we can see. Okay, welcome to the team, Big D, Wing Justice, Perception Filter, Captain Canuck, and Clark. And I probably should sell Pat. Sell him for scrap. Uh, and then we have a laser lance here. Oh yes, that's right, that's the other weapon that we wanted here for the other mech suit. And a bunch of people are just returning from duty. There we go. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Well, that's pretty much it for that. So next time we'll do that, the little abduction mission. So remember, we will be watching. Bye.